Hey everybody, so I'm molding Maleficent's face and head because it is my favorite sculpt ever. So I can make copies of her or I can just, you know, sand the face to a different shape, a different race, whatever I'd like to do and all the work's done for me because, um, you know, this scale can be frustrating. What I am using the sculpting tools were um, little spoons from Moore's Moore Studios. I love all their little sculpting tools. But I'm using um, Epoxy Sculpt. It is a two-part um, oh, compound. Yes, two-part compound. You mix equal parts. And the reason I like this more is because it adheres to the doll head very well that is resin and I don't have to bake it and also I prefer epoxy sculpt because I just personally don't like polymer clays that you have to bake so I'm adding the clay I added um, jewelry wire for the armatures and I'm only focusing on getting the form of the horn the best that I can. I don't always worry about detail first, usually that's always last, but I'm just building up the horns, they look ugly at first, but once the clay is cured and hard, I can sand it with my Dremel, and I can carve it with my jeweler files which I will put a link in the description below and there is a picture at the end of my video showing how small they are and they just work fantastic. That's how I did the little wrinkles in her horns to look like, what are they, goat horns? I don't know. I don't know, but anyway. But yeah, I mean, I could sculpt and take forever and Oh, that's the other reason I didn't do any detail, like, first go-around, because I need to keep the back of her head off so I can put in her eyeballs and then attach the back of the head. So I really only had a little bit of her head to attach that clay onto. So that's another reason I did it the way that I did. So... We're getting some shape there. Try to figure out where I'm at. All right, so I let it cure and harden a little bit. And I'm adding more clay. And it was hard because of the armature, like, yes, I did attach it with the Bondic that I talked about in my last video, the UV resin, but it was flimsy. Um, so, you know, everything was moving a lot until it hardened. But I don't know, I guess, I kind of do things backwards, I guess. But, I mean, it works for me. <laughs> I didn't. I tend to do everything in life backwards, and somehow it works. I don't know. Don't ask me for life tips, okay? Just don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I go off camera working. Cause sometimes it's just, you know, holding angles and the certain light lighting. I can't see something. But yeah, these little spoon tools that I got from Moore's Moore Studio, I'm using it to smooth out. I mean, you can use anything, really. I think the spoons, you can make, like, fish scales and all kinds of stuff, but... I have many, many sculpting tools, though. And the reason I didn't use the spoons to make the textured horns, it's just because it's such a small scale. And I actually used, um, while it was still semi-soft, 
I did use wood carving tools. But yeah, once it was all done, I had to use the, the Joller files, which I'm really happy with the result. You won't really see the detail until I start painting the horns tonight. So I'm gonna paint them black and then I'm gonna do like brown and gold washes to just get that natural horn look. Maybe a little bit of white dry brushing, maybe gray, cause I don't want it too, I, I'm not trying to go too wild with it. Less is more folks, less is more. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I read a message. I read a message and it made me laugh. Sorry. I didn't want you thinking I was laughing for no reason. And this, um, this compound, you know, to get it to stick to things, Always add only a little bit of water because if you use too much water, it literally turns into like the clay that's in the ground. It just becomes mush. So use water sparingly with this product for sure. Because then you'll just have to start all over again and you'll be annoyed. <laughs> But I was, I was smoothing it with a damp brush with water on it. Alright, so we got the form for the most part. And I'm articulating her for fun. Because I just like can't wait to make her look like she's flying with her wings. And da 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 with her clothes. So I thought because this portion was so long, I would just get this up. And then we'll focus next on painting, pigmenting. And there are the files. And then we'll focus on costumes. I know I'm all over the place, but you can see in the sliding the texture of the horns. I don't know, I might mold the horns. I don't know, I don't know. What would you do? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again for being here. And uh, stay tuned for the part two, three, f maybe four series of Maleficent. Y'all have a great rest of the week. It's Wednesday.